Hi everyone! Hi everyone! Welcome back to Flowers by Siobhan. Uh, today we're going to be showing you part two. Of... <laughs> today we're going to be showing you part two of how to make our large hand tie bouquet. This is real life. Have a good day! Make sure your paper is lying um, to face you and we need to be folding it in at a corner. You might want to come out this side and have a look at it. Okay. Um, so turn it over, do exactly the same as I was doing before and just do a little sleep. So by folding it in and making a little sleep. Let's come around this side actually. Yeah? Yeah. So we get our hand tied both okay. And we will lie that onto our piece of paper. What you're looking for here is that you can still see some of the paper. So we want to be in a bit of the paper at the top. Can you see that? Yep. And then you want to be gathering it in at the binding point. So everything will gather in here. So again, our uh, same size piece of paper, putting the colour side to face us, and then this time doing it the other way. So we're doing it rectangle shape. And we're going to pleat our corners on both sides. Pop it into our plate and just turn it because these ones are going to just come at the corner. Keep it pleat. We do tend to want to come undone. So just... Hold your pleats in place. Bring it round to the side. And come around the back. So you can see now that you've got a pleat at the back and a pleat at the side. We have a slight angle, but it's slightly slanted, and then we'll pull it into the base. So as you can see, it's just starting to take shape. It's just starting to get that um, lovely bouquet look at the back of these flowers. And now we need to start gathering it at the front. So I've uh, pleated these sides in, and these ones are going to go on the front. So you want to be looking at your paper, you don't want it to cover too much of your flowers. You want it to be in line really with the flowers, um, the edge of the flowers. So place this at the front, and when you've got it in the right place, and ruffle it round to the front of the dough. You want the two front ones to be in line with each other so that. Um, Again, so they're not covering the flowers. Yeah. And then we'll stand it up. So, so already you start to see the shape come together. We're using our paper like we have before. And this time, when we think about how long these stems are and maybe how long we're going to bring it down, so we need a piece of paper at least this long. So we use the felt tape. Bring one side of it up, so it's right in the middle of your paper. And you want to bring one side round at the top. And put the of tape on. And then bring the other side around. And put the cell of tape on. So our uh, piece of paper which is wrapped on both sides around the top, but just to secure it, and just got a little bit more cell of tape just underneath. But you don't want is the bottom sliding off. Good. Of the paper and push it. And this time, this one will go on top of it. So exactly the same as before. We just bring one corner underneath and secure it with our colour tape or our colour tape box. 
Again, you want to make sure that it doesn't move, so you might want to put a little bit of cell tape just across the top. Secure it again down one side and secure it down the other side with a um, cell tape. Just so it doesn't come apart. Now I'm just going to fold the bottom bit back, just so that we've got a nice bit of an edge. We're nearly ready now to put our bow on, so as you can see, it's all nice and wrapped. And we've got our bottom bit. Hey everyone, Hi. Uh, thanks very much for tuning in today to watch part two of Making Our Large Bouquet. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and have a go. And if you want to, only if you really want to, but we really appreciate it, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button to get all your notifications and become a part of the Washington family too. Night, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Bye.